Right, so we are finishing off this paper, um, probability uh, external 91267, uh, NCA level 2. And we are on question 2, part B. Now, I'm going to give you a second, just pause the video and read this question now because it's very long with a lot of information and I don't want to waste time on the video reading through it all. Okay, so um, how do we go about answering this? Now, this is actually a little bit of a red herring question. There is a lot going on, a lot of information given to you, but the question itself is actually pretty easy. So according to the data in the tables three and four, um, what proportion of the total breeding ewes were Romneys that were empty um, and were culled? So you've just got to think about what that would look like. Imagine a massive tree diagram that put all of this on. That's how I can think about it. So first of all, we've got um, the proportion of the use that were the first decision being made is that they are Romney. Now you are given a little bit of a clue that this is an easier, simple question because there's only two lines for your working. So don't overthink it. So we've got Romney and the chance of that is um, three fifths. We get that from this bit here. So the ratio of Romney to Merino is three to two. So out of a total of five, three parts is Romney. So it's a probability of three fifths that it's a Romney. Next, so we've done the Romney thing. Next, that they were empty. So did not produce a lamb. So that would be our next branch is empty. And this one is a 0 0.06 here under our Romney category no lambs is 0 0.06. The next choice being made is that they were then culled. Now I'm not filling in the rest of the tree diagram only the branch we're interested in. So the probability that a Romney ewe was culled given that they had not produced a lamb is this 0 0.88 here. So to work out the probability across a branch, we multiply them together. So 3 fifths times 0 0.06 times 0 0.88 is equal to 0 0.03168. Let's take a look at the mark scheme there. And it's this line just here. We can see that's the working. Now, if you got to the point of doing 0 0.06 times 0 0.88, that got you an achieved point. And if you did the whole thing correctly, that got you a merit. Now, the reason that that's a merit with a fairly simple calculation is because they gave you so much in the question that you had to decipher and pick out from. That's where the skill was um, to be awarded for merit.